At Radio City Music Hall here in New York, there'll be a special showing of a docudrama titled Divine Mercy, No Escape. It marks a milestone in the career of actress Helen Hayes. Helen Hayes says she's made her last movie, the finale to an acting career that began 82 years ago when she was six. A career that cast her in 71 roles, paired her with Clark Gable and Gary Cooper, won her two Oscars, the Presidential Medal of Freedom and the title First Lady of the American Stage. Lucky's been murdered, and Molly's missing again. Molly? What's Molly got to do with it? Everything. They ran along beside the carriage, shouting and cheering me. And I heard one of them say, Go it, old girl. You've done it well. We all need to forgive one another and to be forgiven. But no one wants to forgive us more than God does. She may claim it's her final role, but this time Helen Hayes isn't acting. She's talking about her favorite subject. I believe in God. I believe in his compassion and mercy. And so uh, it's a great opportunity for me not to preach, but to join in a lovely story that demonstrates this very thing. At 87, she's promoting her latest picture, a religious docudrama called Divine Mercy, No Escape. Hayes narrates the story of a Polish nun living during World War II. She was a simple peasant girl, uh, had only had three years of schooling, and she had this visitation from this God of mercy and of love and of compassion. And uh, he wanted her to uh, to bring his message to the world. Although religious conviction is not something Helen Hayes is famous for, she grew up a devout Catholic. I was very ardent in my religion in my childhood. Then I married a non-Catholic and a divorced man. That's when I was drifted away from the church. Playwright Charles MacArthur stole her heart. They had a daughter who followed Helen into acting until she became a polio victim and died at age 19. I was destroyed by that. And I didn't know anything else to do but to ask God for help. And, and I got it. Six years later, she was grieving again. Then when my husband died, I thought I must go back to the church because I need it. I need the strength and support. And uh, the church was waiting open-armed. It's impossible to be morbid. It's impossible to be uh, uh, un unhappy if you know that there is some great power there wishing you well and helping you to uh, a good life. Helen Hayes will be 88 in October. She's not afraid of getting older or the alternative. I don't fear death at all. I have in my head one wonderful line that uh, is from Peter Pan, when he's Peter Pan fighting his duo says, why fear death? It's the greatest adventure in life. Mm. And I believe that. 13 minutes before the hour.